vintage transistor radios. These came out of an estate of about 150 radios that were being sold off at the ham radio swap meet. I picked these out of that lot. Um, I don't know, quite know why I chose them. I guess I like some of them and some of them just whatever they needed a home right so I, I kind of separated them these on the top row these are all the um, just a kind of generic 2 IF stage AM and then the ones on the bottom are AM FM and this one Westinghouse looks really old so this will just kind of be a show-and-tell video so we'll just kind of go through it now the guy selling them told me that the guy who owned the estate or owned all these radios a collector kept them in very good working order so he said most of them you just turn them on and they work so let's just kind of go through them one at a time I guess we'll start with the Admiral don't pay any attention to these prices I don't know why those are there that's not what they cost Japan feels like it's got batteries. If you don't have that, then I think you're not being, as uh, George Bush used to say, very prudent. Friday. Get Friday's edition by signing up. We'll get it to you later today, and then every Friday. Let's see if it'll get uh, LA oldies. That's kind of my benchmark for sensitivity. Oil consumption. I took three topics. Oh yeah, it gets it very well. Very well. Tin transistor. Oh, looks like it's Sanyo. This actually looks fairly well made with all the green capacitors in it. It's an Admiral model YK211GP. with batteries works see this has two IF stages nothing special here right two IF stages or three maybe it has three one two three I don't know it's kind of rusty right now Let's see, let's grab one of these El Cheapos. How about this one? Kmart. Kmart. Solid state. I'm just going to use this as a comparison. So this has two IF stages, three transformers. So the the Admiral does have three IF stages. So this should be a better performer. This is a superior radio. Okay, on to the next. A quick correction to this video these are one and two IF stage sets the one on the left here is a single IF stage and this one is two IF stages first IF second IF 
This is the oscillator coil. Red is the oscillator coil, converter coil. Same thing here, converter coil, one IF stage. That's it. So the Admiral is actually two IF, not three. We might as well do the Kmart. There were a billion of these made. Hong Kong. This one looks like it's got one of the screws missing. What goes wrong with these? Not much. Capacitors can go open. The transistors can go bad. Uh, bad solder joints. Bad dirty volume control. And this sounds like it might have bad solder joints somewhere. Well, That sounds like LA Oldies right there. You can see how bad the performance is. Yeah, that's it. You can see these were a real standard design. There were billions of these made with this basic configuration, the same basic circuit. And they're they're very minimal. They're just for kind of your local like K and X. Um, keep it by the bed. If there's a disaster, you got it set to your local info station and turn it on, kind of thing. K and X is our kind of super high powered tune it in on everything that'll detect anything station. All right, that's the. Kmart. Wow, is this pre-UPC code? Somebody scraped the... Too bad, I'd like to see how much it was. $7.99, $12.99, $5.99. No UPC code on this. Okay, next. RCA Solid State. Again, ignore this. this is... Who knows what that's about? Feels like it's got a battery almost. So again, kind of the same thing.
de todo el estado de California. Sí. El criadero de ratones y cucarachas que tiene ahí el garaje. Sí, totalmente. Porque es un criadero. Sabe, sabe que sí. Muy, y, y yo le digo esto a estas personas, muchas personas le pregunto, ¿qué en su garaje, verdad? Muchas Volume control has some issues. Again, the performance is so crappy you can hardly get it at LA Oldies. That's that's the performance difference between having a 2 and 3 IF set. It makes a huge difference. See, where was this one made? The RCA was made in Hong Kong, too. So, all right, how about this one? KMPC, 7.10 a.m. This one's actually got screws holding it together. So you could put this on your belt. Think of how stylish. Screw that crappy smartphone, man. Screw that crappy iPhone 10. This is what you want to roll with right here. Computron. I think this is LA Oldies and it's completely unintelligible. This this thing sounds so bad. I had to get a screwdriver to open this to see what could possibly create such bad sound. Look at this thing. It's got five transistors in it. Converter, IF amp, AF amp, and two outputs. Probably got a detector diode right here. Yeah, there it is. I wonder if it's the speaker. This, fro this might be. Oh, well, it's all loose. This might be worth investigating. Might have to investigate this. Because that is hideous. Okay, next, still in the box, Admiral, six transistor. This looks like another one of those Honkoidial, it is. Honkoidial typoid rebellion fever. Ooh, with heat shrink on the output transistors. Yeah, let's put wax over the tuning cores. It actually looks like a little bit higher quality of the Honkoidial radio. Request a one-time vote by mail ballot before the February 25th Estados Unidos. 
and it gets LA oldies and it performs pretty good well damn Admiral's kicking ass here okay next one Zenith Royal 810 what that says we'll do this one next because probably a lot of people have already skipped to the end thinking I'm trying to bait them to watch the whole thing whatever um, this is kind of heavy and it feels kind of American-y matey and again ignore these prices let's see Well, it looks American-made. These capacitors, these electrolytics, can either be good or they can be the worst thing ever. It just all depends on the radio, I've noticed. Sometimes they're fine, sometimes they're all open. I think it takes four, C four AA cells, four pin light batteries. Oh, it's got the Japanese IF transformers. What is this? Oh, great. The guy put a post-it note inside with the, all the alignment points on it. The guy likes to tweak it constantly doesn't need to be tweaked a line at once and you leave it for life put some batteries in it and see what happens There it is. I forgot a dead battery here. It sounds kind of distorted. Pretty impressive for having the antenna down. Let's see if it'll get channel six. Guadalupe uh, TV radio. So that right there, that's television channel 6 that I'm always showing in my videos, right here. Wow, K-Jazz, this is one hot ass radio right here. Man, this thing is sensitive. Zenith Royal 810. Wow, that thing is hot. That's a definite score. These are kind of hard to get um, contact cleaner in. You got to just 
you got to just kind of flood them and and it'll work its way in there and then you know don't don't let it run into the radio so it's this airplane yeah all it needs is a little spritzer next back to the AM radios let's do the Juliet solid state so probably another one of our hunkoidial, definitely, little 2IF stage, 2, two, two output transformer, or nothing radios. Yep. I love how they use different configurations of transistors in these. This has got these big uh, hermetically sealed ones with these crappy uh, electrolytics and it's got these early epoxy dome these things like to go bad all the time these type of transistors these epoxy domes well let's see you never know pretty good oh yeah this one's hot so maybe that other one was kind of something wrong with it so this is that tin can sounding computron what's interesting is this one only runs on three volts This one runs on 9 volts and it sounds in a lot better and is a lot better. You can see the similarity there. They're all the same. Alright, well that's the Juliet. Let's see next. How about this one? Made in USA. Our uh, Samus Rubenstein will be donating all royalty revenues from sales of that book to the Library of Congress Literacy Awards. I'd like to pick up the conversation where we left off here. Let's see. Things working with the original capacitors. I only see two in there. Look at those old transistors. Wow.
might have some low ESR capacitors. All right, how about this GE? Well, there's a piece of it. Let's open it up and see if we could find the other piece. Oh my, this is pretty pat pretty bad look at this look at all these bodge repairs look at look at that right there yeah this might this might be a topic for another video this is pretty I wonder if Sam's ever made a schematic on this. It's it's possible if I knew the model number. Just says Hong Kong all over it. Okay, one more. Philco Ford Solid State. Another Hong Koi deal. Ooh, made in Taiwan by Philco Taiwan. Of course, the uh, tuning string thing doesn't work. Gimmicky crap. Totally quiet. Hear a little pop, but that's it. Again, all the screws are missing except one out of the chat uh, circuit board. So this guy had been in here trying to fix this. It's totally quiet, both bands. Again, this one's full of bodge work. Looks like it's got a date code of 72. But what this telephone wire going to a 33 ohm resistor to the speaker, that I don't think that's right. So, and this, the tuning dial cord string deal is broken under here. I could see that. So this needs uh, restoration or debogitization. Again, Sam's did some schematics on some of these, but where's the model number? Actually, I found it. Look, R131BK, Philco, R131BK. It's in Transistor Service Manual 157. I will have to order this up. You know, with the whole kind of uh, Rush Limbaugh thing in the news lately, and 
some questions that came up on a recent video I posted about AM in the United States. You know, I remember back in the Clinton years, Rush Limbaugh was credited with saving the AM broadcast band in the United States because this was kind of before the whole immigrant invasion thing and having, you know, three quarters of the stations on AM in foreign languages. That AM had just kind of died to some news stations like KNX, and I don't think the whole sports talk thing was really that big at that time. And there was some religious broadcasts, but largely AM had really kind of petered out in the mid 90s, and then Rush Limbaugh came along. I don't forget the exact timeline as kind of the, the counter voice to the Clinton administration. And it really kind of woke the AM broadcast band back up. And, and like I say, he was, Rush was credited for saving the AM broadcast band in the United States. And I remember hearing that over and over and over again in the 90s. And it just made me think of kind of his whole health thing made me think of that. Now, I'll, I'll say straight up. I have never sat down and listened to an episode of Rush Limbaugh. So I've heard bits and pieces of it, working on old radios, cars, in cars, whatever. But yeah, um, and leaning from that, somebody asked in the last video, how much longer, a, a gentleman that was commenting from Turkey, how, how much longer do you think AM broadcast will be around in the United States and I think AM analog broadcast and FM analog broadcast will be around for a long long time I don't see it going anywhere uh, the biggest market for it is still in vehicle listening to it in your car in a major metropolitan city like Los Angeles New York Chicago whatever when you're stuck in traffic so it's not going anywhere uh, you'd have to get pretty much the vast majority of the vehicles in the fleet would have to have HD radios. And then I still don't think there's no reason to get rid of analog. It's just not viable from a monetary standpoint to get rid of it. You don't want to lose any of your audience. You don't want to risk losing any of your audience because then it cuts down on your commercial distribution. It's, just, it's not going anywhere. I don't see it going anywhere for quite a long time in the United States. It's not like the television broadcast band where they can sell those channels to wireless carriers for more bandwidth. It's the three meter FM broadcast band and the AM standard broadcast band. There just isn't a lot of a whole lot of desirability for those other than to just leave them how they are. There's just no reason to change it. I could be wrong with all that, and I'm sure some of you will take me to task, but it's it's possible, but I don't see it going away anytime soon. That's my own personal opinion. It works. For best results, replace with Genuine Juliet batteries. I think it would work better if I could get a Genuine Juliet battery. Always got to get one of these in there. Congratulations. You have been selected by Royal Caribbean to receive an eight-day, seven-night, all-inclusive complimentary cruise. For further details, press zero now. Press two now to be placed on the do not call list. wonder if it comes with a... Coronavirus, uh... uh quarantine. So what do we learn here? Well, the Zenith definitely kicks ass, but there's no surprise there. Uh, definitely coming in real close behind that is this Admiral. This Admiral really, um, really performs well. This is probably the oldest one here, American made. This Admiral performs well. The rest of them are kind of generic.
but definitely this one is the worst sounding. Maybe I should just play this one here to the, let's see. What we can do here. I think we could work this a little bit. Oh. Well, that didn't last long. All right, so we'll get a schematic on this one. We'll try and fix this one in a future video, and maybe this one. So the GE and the Philco Ford will be topics for uh, future repair videos. That, this one sounds a little bit tinnier than it probably should. Looks like it's got a pretty big speaker jammed in there. So that could be these electrolytics have gone way down in value. Check out the performance difference between this Admiral and this RCA. But I think there's something wrong with this one, because if I tap on it... And that's the volume all the way up. This is the antenna trimmer. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Maybe the antenna's broken. Now this should perform a little better than this, I think. You see the quality control was of utmost importance. I wonder if Content ID will decode this. I've been going through jumping some of these 
old uh, black electrolytic capacitors and the only one that seems a little weak is this one. So it's just noisy. It's, it's, it's almost like it's a transistor maybe. I don't know. These... Maybe we'll someday we'll do a repair video on this. But these little uh, epoxy dome transistors, look at how they have them color-coded. Orange, white, green, white, and blue, white. And there's another orange, white back in there. And then those are yellow.